Yo, what's up guys? So, I think I may turn this into a series. Uh, please let me know in the comment section below if you want me to keep doing like a why I like series. Characters who I just personally want to talk about, who I either think are underappreciated, or their true greatness is yet to be shown. Um, and if you keep liking and pushing up the videos, then I'll do more of them. Um, and if you want to just tweet me or let me know anything else, uh, Twitter, Facebook, all the fun stuff, Discord in the uh, description, show. With all that said, let's get into why I like Tashigi. I actually just realized Tashigi does not have a last name. I was thinking about it because there are certain, a lot, most anime characters have full names. Uh, Tashigi is not one of those characters, which is it's always weird when I think about that in context. But I kind of want to talk about Tashigi because I feel like Tashigi is not really... I don't think she's disliked, I just don't think a lot of people view her as relevant when it comes to the main story of One Piece. And to be fair, she's not insanely relevant when it comes to the main story of One Piece. But I feel like she doesn't get the amount of credit that she deserves. Because I actually think she's a way better character than people give her credit for. Um, so, Tashiki's original claim to fame when she was introduced during uh, Logue Town was that oh shit she's this girl who seems to have a very similar demeanor to Kuina and looks like Kuina and is a sword geek and has a somewhat weird relationship with Zoro because she don't want to take none of Zoro's shit and Zoro won't fight her because she looks like Kuina and honestly in the first part of One Piece she really isn't focused upon that much nor is she really given that much character now they kind of tie her in a lot with smoker but there's not as much of a dynamic there as there's supposed to be it's like oh she's a swordswoman but she's not known to be incredibly powerful i don't think most of the time we saw her fight she exhibit no really above average skill she was single sword style she i was it we saw her almost get herself killed by her own sword with robin uh back in alabasta we hadn't seen her when was the next time we saw her? i'm trying to think the next time we saw her might have been like marineford well at least yeah i think marineford was the last time we saw them interact i mean we saw them before that but for the most part they didn't really interact with anyone relevant until like marineford and even then she still didn't do jack shit and all so it's one of those oh tashiki really ain't shit so i can understand why people feel like people don't pay her any attention because let's be real here, Oda doesn't pay Tashiki that much of fucking attention. And then we got to the time skip and I saw that new design and I went, boy, that's what I call a makeover. Because the weird jacket shit and she just, she looked way too like nerdy and unappealing as a female character and just in general. Which granted kind of goes with her whole being a sword geek thing, but that was it. I think the time skip really helped her shine as a character. I actually truly prefer her in time skip than I did pre time skip because she was expanded upon. I kind of don't like the whole lack of Zoro not being nowhere near as freaked out about fighting her or dealing with her now because she looks like Kuina. Particularly because that, and I'll be fair, part of the reason why I like her as a character is because she gives some good characterization to Zoro. Because to be real here, Zoro for me is been downgraded over the years. Zoro for me as a character has gone from being kind of this cool, smart ass, badass dude who gets shit done to kind of to, to a stereotypical badass that just don't take shit from nothing. Like Zoro just kind of devolved into being cool for the sake of being cool. When I always thought Zoro was cool to begin with and he had his moments of like ridiculousness that kind of worked with him. He kind of worked as the straight man, but that's, I'll get into it in a second. The thing about Tashiki and Time Skip that made her a lot more appealing is that they start giving her different traits. And they start showing her the dynamic between her and Smoker as uh, as, as uh, partners, I guess. For example, in Punk Hazard, when after Law, uh, after I think it's like right after they're, they're in the cage and everything, right? And they're about to make their escape out of the cage. Well, Law frees Luffy and them because obviously we're in an alliance, that's fine, but he has no obligation to help Tashigi or Smoker, who are still in switched bodies at this point. He does them the courtesy of switching them back, but then it's like, well, I don't really have to get you out of the chains. 
and fucking Lu and then and Toshigi showing that she learned from their previous encounter with Law that when you are not in a position of power, you don't get the right to complain. Mm -hmm. It was it was the same thing that happened in that first fight when Law took out Smoker's heart. And Toshiki tried to be on some reckless shit, and it was like, listen, if you ain't in the position to beat my ass, then you don't get to make demands of me. And she learned from that experience and went, fine. Because she was the first one to go, look, let me out of these chains, I'll do whatever you say. And obviously, Smoker's like, what the fuck was that? And Toshiki's trying to make a point that she learned something from Law that we're not in a, we're not in an advantageous position. There are things that we still need to do. We need to warn our G5 men of Virgo, and we got some kids to save. I ain't got time to be sitting here with my pride because I'll be dead before I get to do anything. That's why Law gave Toshigi some props. That's the dynamic I like. The smoker can be on that fucking bullshit, and Toshigi has to kind of even them out. Now, granted, we haven't really seen much of them since. Um, other than we know that Tashigi is going to go talk to Vegapunk to help the kids out. But we haven't really seen too much of Tashigi. But that's the dynamic I like between her and Smoker. That she's she's willing to take it take from an experience and learn. Whereas Smoker sometimes is way too motherfucking prideful for his own good that he can't do that. And actually, you could tell he kind of learned from that experience anyway due to his fight with Virgo and what they ended up leading into. Which is the law, pull out that assist and cut that motherfucker down. Literally, so that's a, that's an aspect of Tashigi I like. They also kind of pulled out her more motherly and responsible side with the G5 and the kids. She's kind of the like they don't really want to pay Smoker no fucking attention. Like when he first got sent to G5 and it was like, oh G5, this shitty ass part of the Marines. That's what that's what you're dealing with, and they and they were managed to turn them into some relatively competent fucking Marines to get shit done, and. Obviously, they're using Smoker as that kind of in-between gray area Marine where he's still part of the Marines, but he can blatantly see that there's some problems between the Marines and the pirate dynamic and that you can't sit here and shit on pirates when they're the ones seems to be, they, they dictate way more than you know. And the deeper Smoker goes in that rabbit hole, the more shit he ends up getting involved with. Needless to fucking say. Moving on, the other reason why I like Tashigi is because of her dynamic with Zoro. Like I said, I feel like Zoro's kind of devolved into a character who's become less of... He's become less multifaceted and become just literally this devolved, oh, I'm just cool for the sake of being cool. Like, he's always had cool moments, but they were kind of shrouded in him also having his own kind of... Uh, his own kind of demeanor. And the one thing I truly appreciate about Kuina, I mean not Kuina, see, that's what happens. The one thing I truly appreciate about Tashigi using the Monet fight as the main example here is Tashigi is like one of the only girls who legitimately can call Zora on his bullshit and he won't and he can't really counter it. Now some people say Nami does this, but Nami doesn't do this to the same effect. Nami is usually Zoro being lazy or not giving a fuck and Nami getting angry at him for being lazy and not giving a fuck. Zoro will call him out on hypocrisy. It's funny how he shits on Sanji so much and he seems to have the same problem as Sanji. Now I know people debate this whole whether or not Zoro will keep hit or beat up women and shit, but the fact that he called him out on it, she called him out on it, and then, she, and then he proceeded to prove her right by only slashing her cheek and then scaring her. And Tashigi was like, because even though Zoro's still running around, we're running his fucking mouth talking about, because she, I think in the in, in the anime or in the manga, she's like, talk down to me like you're better than me. And he's like, because I am better than you. For him to say something like that and then immediately get followed up with, uh, you you still prove my point, Zoro, you didn't kill her. Like, and it's, and I am, I'm very happy they gave her hockey. Tashigi, I think uh, if anyone knows who the George is, Tashigi is like my Kobe when it comes to Jorge. Like, Jorge loves Kobe to death. I enjoy the shit out of Tashigi. And I want, I think the only thing I don't like about Tashigi right now is that she's not as strong as I would like her. Because it's obvious Zoro is stronger than her. But the fact that Tashigi can still call her out and be like, listen, you and this bullshit ass arrogance where you think you're stronger than women shit is going to get you in fucking trouble. And I, I, and I legitimately hope that Zoro's next fight is with a woman. I want it to be with a woman 
because I need, I want to one, I want to she to be validated, and I want something to happen with his character because that's the one thing I truly. Because like the only gag that Zoro retains that's kind that's not as funny as it used to be is Zoro's shitty direction, and that's because they give him really uninteresting character dynamics. He doesn't even even his dynamic with Kenamon and Punk Hazard has been this fucking annoying ass. Oh. You you have this cool sword. How did you get this sword? Ah, I'm gonna fight you, and then it became irrelevant because they were all friends. The thing I truly appreciate about Tashigi is Tashigi not only expanded upon herself, but she seems to improve upon those around her. That's why I I, I like seeing her because she because she's shown she was one of the few characters that shown real true growth in the time skip and in Punk Hazard, for example, and. I, I, I like I want her, I want Oda to expand upon her style because she seems to have this really weird, janky ass sort style that doesn't really work, make sense. Like even even when we got to see her fight, like her finish off Monet with her technique, it was like this weird her hands. Like I don't I almost want to say like Oda didn't know how to draw it or he didn't know what he was going for because the pose is like this and I'm like what kind of shit is that. Like, I thought that was the setup for the post. I'm like, no, that's actually the attack. And I kind of, that's the one thing I kind of hope they, they expand upon to Shiki and give her a little bit more of a boost. I don't, I'd rather her not be a double fruit user. Um, I, she also has the, the stereotypical glasses joke where she can't see shit without her glasses and all these other cute, pretty much she's like Velma. She, she literally, that's the, if you've seen Scooby Doo, she's fucking Velma. And it's, it's cute as shit. But it's also like you can do more with that. Um, I would love to see more of her. Tashiki is a character I genuinely look forward to see because she never seems to disappoint. She hasn't disappointed me in the time skip so far. I mean, like I said, the only thing I don't like is that she's weaker. But she's also a character who's learned from her mistakes and grown from it. I just don't like seeing characters I like get get slammed on some bullshit. And I think Tashigi, because I really think it would have drove the point home if Tashigi was at least near on. I mean, I, you could still make Zoro stronger, but it shouldn't be to the point where it's so painfully obvious from to the viewer that Zoro is stronger. I think she should still be near Zoro's skill level or close to it. It doesn't even seem like she's that. It seems like she's like, she's she's pretty, she's fur. I mean, she knows hockey. She can use hockey. I don't know if she can just use, if it's just observation or she can use armament. I hope she can. I want to see Tashigi rocks and black swords. Tashigi fan art needs to be around and abundant. I just, I really like that she serves as kind of a counterbalance to Smoker and that she can serve as a foil to Zoro because Zoro does not have that many interesting character dynamics in One Piece in general and he needs more of them. I think Perona was the last good one he had. And that didn't really evolve from much. That was just, it was almost felt like that was Stockholm Syndrome on Perona's part because Zoro still treated her the same fucking way. I don't even know why Oda went with that. I'm not totally against it. It's just a weird thing that exists. So yeah, that's my general thoughts on Tashigi. There's not a lot to say about her because there's not a lot to go over. Uh, I wouldn't, I totally wouldn't be, I would be down for either uh, her, her, maybe her sword getting a double fruit. I love how in One Piece you can say this shit and it'd be perfectly cool. It, I'd be, cause I feel like Tashigi needs her own distinct sword. I would be totally down for a side story with Tashigi and Smoker. Also cause I think Smoker needs something. Cause holy shit, he felt insanely nerfed in Punk Hazard. But yeah, Tashigi's cool. Tashigi's like another underrated, uh, character in One Piece. I just think she needs more love and... I don't know what the Kawina thing, because I almost feel like Oda completely dropped that part of the plot line. Like, now it serves as a nickname for Tashigi when it comes to Zoro. I would almost love for Tashigi to get a nickname for Zoro. Like, they call Zoro a specific type of name and fuck with him. Or maybe Tashigi has more power than she lets on to be. I just, I, I just, I want to see more of the character. I'll be real with you. I really do. But uh, please leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section below. Hope you guys enjoyed. Which character from anime series do you like or you think I like that you want me to do a video on? Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching. And uh, you can't have a little bit of fun if you're not. No, what, what, how'd it go?
You can't truly have fun if you're not a little bit crazy.